Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so this weekend is the fucking weekend that I want to drive this thing. So a little update. I had this running, idling. You guys have seen the videos of that. Uh, I went to bleed the clutch, had a little issue, and I bent my clutch master cylinder. Uh, I bent the rod and the clutch master cylinder, so I had to order a new one and wait for it to come in. So this is a B8 and a half, probably a B8 also, S4, S5. Uh, clutch master cylinder. This is OEM, or I should say genuine Audi, uh, because of the sensor and how this thing works. I definitely wanted to go factory. Um, paid a little over 200 for this. Uh, I believe I got it from eeuroparts.com. I've gotten quite a bit of things from them. It's been great, quick shipping. Um, this came in this past Monday. So finally I can put it in. But in order to put it in, I have to go back into here, which is a pain in the ass. But um, I will sh basically film myself doing it because I could not find a video of the process. Um, There's some written instructions on a couple of websites uh, due to this clutch line, but I uh, figured I'd show you what I know and I've had it open three times now. so. Uh, I'm a bit of a pro. The hardest part is going to be getting the, the wipers out, but a little, little persuasion, they pop right off. So uh, I think I'll start there. Pry these little covers off. <clears throat> These are a 13 millimeter. Take notice of how your wipers are positioned. If you put them down too far, they're gonna bind up. Uh, I have my windshield replaced and they mounted them in the wrong spot. So I had to immediately come home and adjust them. So once those are off, those nuts are off, you wanna, you kinda wanna just rock these back and forth. Mine are loose because they've been off recently, but if you just rock them back and forth, they'll pop right off the stuff. If you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna be a bit of a bitch. I don't know if you can see, there's, there's teeth in there and this gets corrosion and, and they decide to stick. <coughs> They do make a tool for wiper removal. It's, like a, it's kind of a, like a gear puller. Um, and this tray, this kind of pops out. Mine's already, mine doesn't ever go all the way back in, um, but it's just set in a groove in here. This pops up out of the way. So you guys, this is, it just kind of pops down in there somehow supposed to anyway in your I believe in your windshield gasket <clears throat> all right so next will be this little cover here we're gonna take this motor out because uh, it's in the way it's a lot of stuff in the way but this helps uh, So this is the connector. The connectors always push in and then try to pull out, they'll slide right off. Get that out of the way here. Get this little clip. It's a push pull. It's the wire. I think that whole thing can come off there, but whatever. Uh, this is 10 millimeter. There's three, there's three mounting spots. One here. Right down 
here. And 10 millimeter, I just have a quarter inch with a deep, uh, probably a three inch extension. And once you get them loose, you can do it by hand, but. If you drop one of these, it will just go down into the tray. You should be able to get it later. Just in case. They won't hit the ground, they won't hit your belly pin. But it'll still be a bitch. You can get your monster fingers in there. Oh. There we go. So this motor just lifts. Right out. The wiper motor and arm assembly. <clears throat> All right, there's a, I don't know if you can see this in from the video, but there's a ground strap right here. 10 millimeter. Oh, my battery's dying. That's the 10 millimeter nut. There's the ground strap. I do have my battery unhooked. Um, I, do, I moved my driver's seat so I could get under the dash a little better. Um, that's the ground strap. Hooks right to the car itself. Let's put that nut back on. There. This will just give you some room to move the, the harness up out of the way. Let me change this battery quick. the simplest fucking things. All right. Take that ground off of there. This plug can kind of float around just to tell your way. We're working right down there. So you have a T30 for the ECU cover. Um, I have a T handle, but you can use a socket or whatever you have, it's T30. Just three screws. It's nice, these are not security screws. I will tell you, there's a there's a security bit set at Harbor Freight for like 10 bucks. Uh, I know it's Harbor Freight, but you know what? It has literally every security bit, I think, on the face of the planet. Isn't it? <clears throat> the ECU cover. Let's see how well you can see it in there, if I can get in closer. tripod and I'm not a professional I just play one on TV all right so ECU connectors there's two of them at the ends you have these things here when you pull these this is what's gonna push it off the ECU just pop up like that and this one on this end and then this Grommet lifts up and out of this box. In this box, you'll learn to hate this box because it does not get out of the way. I might be a little premature. All right, so there's a red and a white connector in here because you're going to pull this whole fuse box up. So there's a red and a white connector. They stay with the car. And then 
deep down is a another ground or power power wire. That stays with the car as well. Lift out. The nut on this stays with the wire, so you don't worry about that. We're not losing it. Yeah, that just connected there's two two mounting points so here's these sears the connectors there's red and white that is the red wire which is now right there that was on that stud so I hope that get it out of the way so in here this whole block's gonna come out of here well, first we just use the mount. So this gray box is a nightmare. So I actually broke one of the ECU retaining clips, which is this guy. I broke the one on the other side. So this guy's here.